guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a little bit of a refresh this morning on the house. I just got home from a very long trip with my son and I need to unpack, I need to harvest the garden, I wanna check on the chickens. I have so much laundry and cleaning to do and I thought I'd take you guys along with me. If you're new here, my name is Lauren Nicholson and I love to do all things homemaking. I would love it if you would subscribe, it's totally free. And if you're returning, it is so great to see you again. All right guys, let's jump into this beautiful day. It is so nice to be back home and back on my routines because I have missed my colon broom. I did not bring it on my trip, but it is one of my favorite things. I take it every single morning. I am just finishing my second month of this. And if you guys are looking for a remedy for bloating, constipation, irregularity, just overall gut ickiness, colon broom is amazing. I absolutely love this. I take it every single morning. Typically like when I'm done having coffee, I will down this. Basically they use a, a, a substance that's kind of like psyllium husk where once you drink it, you got to drink it pretty fast. It will expand within your gut and like a broom, it will go through your entire gut and clean it out, leaving you to feel less bloated, less constipated, and just overall feeling happier and lighter. I love this. I take it every single morning. If you guys are um, curious how it works, and go onto their website, take their quiz because the quiz will be very specific to your body type. So if you have issues like constipation or you have irregularity and things that you feel are contributing to um, just a really unhappy gut, this uh, product will actually be tailored to your needs. So you put your age, your weight, all your things in there and it will spit out the perfect remedy for your body. I want to reduce bloating. I want to reduce especially travel constipation, things like that. This really, really does help. I've been traveling all summer and I was so bummed I forgot this, but Honestly, after one week of being home, this has made a huge difference. So if you guys want to check it out, you can go down to my description box and use my link, or you can use code Nicholson10 for an additional 10% off their 65% off sale right now. So there's really no risk of trying it, guys. You will absolutely love it. It's amazing. And thank you to Colin Broom for sponsoring today's video. But honestly, I use this product regardless, and I am so happy to be able to share it with you guys today. So head down to my description box and take your quiz today and have a much happier gut with me all summer long. So now that I'm home and back on my routines, I wanted to make the bed and get everything ready for the weekend. We came home, this is a Thursday, so we have so much to get done. I split half the chores between my kids and myself. My husband was at work because he had to play single dad all week, so I'm happy to be home, but I also wanna get back to my routine. I'm also changing a huge part of my diet um, starting on Monday. So um, I will share that with you guys as I go along. But again, it has a lot to do with um, just foods that make me feel better and foods that also contribute to just an overall better health. So I'm excited about that. I've spent a lot of time on my trip working on what those recipes were going to look like. They're still going to be delicious, um, but just day-to-day -day stuff, especially since I do intermittent fasting, which is really good as well. But I obviously couldn't do that while we were traveling, so I need to get back on my regimen. So first thing I wanna do is make my bed and clean my room and just get it all perfect and pretty so I could just crash in here tonight because I am so tired. Tell us in the comments down below, how are you guys doing? Are you getting so excited for fall? I cannot wait to get rid of all of the summer decor and just go into a nice cozy fall season. We have had a very cold cold um, summer here in Northern California. But then all of a sudden when I came home, it's 98 degrees today. Last three days have been really hot. This whole week is going to be really hot. So I'm almost wondering, are we going to have a really hot uh, fall again? This sometimes happens where we have kind of a, um, a cooler summer, but then a really hot after summer season. So I'm just interested to see if that ends up happening because it's going to make our fall decorating a little bit awkward <laughs> to say the least, but tell us in the comments down below how you guys been.
I don't know about you, but there is nothing I love more than coming home from a trip and getting in my own bed. So it feels good to get this room nice and clean and ready for a nice relaxing weekend. The last thing I needed to do was unpack. We arrived at home, um, my son and I, around 10 o'clock at night. So we just put our stuff here in the hallway and now I just want to go through and unpack everything. So we're just going to get items that need to be put back away in one basket and then items that need to be washed in another. And we're just going to get some laundry going. Um, my 11 year old, or he's 12, my 12 year old has, um, he already does his own laundry. So he is using the laundry. So we're not going to actually use that in this video. He's getting his done first and he also needed to re uh, clean his sheets So I'm just gonna add mine into the laundry room get the suitcase put away um, And then just keep cleaning the house. I noticed that there was a lot of dust buildup on a lot of my uh, faux florals I picked these up at either home goods or balsam hill are the only two places I picked these up from I just think that the quality is amazing. Um, so I'm going to just clean all that up and just kind of get the surfaces dusted down. I just feel like the house needs a good dusting. About you guys but I always feel like during the summer months the house gets exponentially dirty dirtier and um, more unorganized I know it's because we have the four kids home and we've got lots of things going on and there are kids in and out of the house and I I just feel like I never have enough time to actually clean the house in the summer months. I feel like when it's winter and like school year, I'm able to clean the house and keep on top of all of those things. But when the kids are home, it's probably because we're doing things and we're out having fun and doing like little mini trips and stuff. But I have like really been wanting to actually like really deep clean the house and like starting at the baseboards. Um, I don't know when we are going to um, gut the floors, but I'm hope hopeful that we'll do it in September. That's the goal is to do it in September. So it's done before Christmas. They um, It will only take a week to get it done. So it's not a huge project. Um, there's just two other projects that need to happen prior to putting down the flooring. So um, we'll take a look at and, and see how that all shapes up. But I definitely want the floors done before Christmas. Um, I also want to possibly put in French doors here that go out to the front yard because we're going to be putting in that big front um, patio area. So those are all really fun things. If you guys like home, you know, little home projects and things like that, uh, definitely hit the subscribe button. We do most of everything ourselves except like electrical and plumbing. Uh, my husband's a contractor, so uh, that's it makes it kind of nice when we want to do projects. So if you guys want to check that type of stuff out, definitely hit the subscribe button because we will be doing a lot of renovations on this house. And um, if you guys want to say hi to Chewy, he is hanging in there. He is on a new uh, steroid that is really helping um, his autoimmune disease, and he's doing great still runs around, still plays. Um, he is losing most of his hearing, which is really, um, it's hard on him. So I, you know, we're just trying to stay close to him at all times. So you'll kind of see him at my feet all the time in my videos because he just likes to stay close to us and he likes to watch me clean. So give the video a thumbs up to say hi to Chewy.
the kitchen was a little messy from breakfast. I decided to clean everything up in here. The kids did um, custom omelets this morning. It was kind of fun to just be home and have breakfast and normalcy at the house. So we did that, And I, but I just want to wipe everything down and get it clean. I also have a ton of dishes I still need to rotate. So I'm going to be doing that. Um, one of the things I've kind of had on my to-do list is to slowly start cleaning and prepping things for back to school. And I love these silicone cups. I just ordered some more of these from Timu um, that came in. They're the perfect size. There's um, two different types of square ones you can get, but there's one that fits perfect in a bento box. So I was super excited to find those. So, but these are all very dirty. They're from last year. So I'm going to get some really hot water and some Dawn dish soap and just let all of these uh, silicone cups uh, for the kids' bento boxes soak for a while. I don't want to get up until like the week or two before school uh, goes back and then feel completely overwhelmed. So every single day, I've been trying to add like one small thing I can do to start prepping. Um, this weekend, my big to-do was to go through the kids' closets and inventory all their clothes, bag up things that no longer fit them, and make a hard list of exactly what the kids are going to need. New socks, underwear, shoes, um, uniforms, sports stuff, all of that. So it makes it a lot easier when they go back to school um, for me not to be kind of worrying last minute. Not to mention there's some great sales that come up um, for 4th of July and other parts of the year that are really great to take advantage of. So if you guys are in the same boat, let us know in the comments down below how you're prepping for back to school. I know my kids get so upset when I mention it, but when you have four kids, I have a child in junior high school and three in elementary. It's a lot of work and to make sure that they have everything that they need to be successful is, you know, ready to go uh, so that I can continue to do things I need to do is really important. So that's been my focus and will be my focus until the kids go back in August. But the one thing I did realize is when I went out of town, one of the kids, I, their main job was to water the garden and I'm not sure it totally happened. So I'm going to give the water, I'm going to give the garden <laughs> rather a really good watering. Um, and then I also want to harvest what I can. What I do know happened is they came through and did a bunch of harvesting, which I really, really appreciated um, more so than anything, because if you leave everything on here, they just um, end up going bad. So I was very excited to see all the zucchini, which is really good for bloating, by the way, if you didn't know that. But um, zucchini is a great vegetable that is really, really absorbent in your body and really good for you if you get like, if you get bloated by food easily. Zucchini is a great thing. And so are peppers. But I'm going to get what little padrones are on here and just get everything kind of cleaned up and tidied in here. I also noticed the chickens have been hanging out in here. So I just kind of wanted to pull a couple of things or uproot a couple of things that I can tell they have been laying on. I'm not totally sure what's been going on, but <laughs> let's go check it out. It's already pretty hot out, huh? Yeah. Okay. <gasps> There's Pumperuski. Hi, Pump. Oh, I miss you too. I miss you too. That's my baby. That's my baby girl. So, the chickens have mowed down pretty much all of my vegetables and my dill, which wasn't really growing anyway. Um, they don't like basil, so that's great. Um, and they don't like my tarragon, which is also great because tarragon is like one of my favorite things of all time. They do like cilantro, but, um, yeah, it's fine. You can't win them all. So I am just putting some water on everything. 
I'm also going to uproot a bunch of stuff and clip things back because the chickens, ouch, the chickens pretty much have been hanging out in here while I was out of town, which is, you know, it is what it is. I don't really care. Um, but my peppers are doing great. The tomatoes are doing really well. I've got romas here, which are great for making sauce. And then I've got some heirlooms coming in over here. I've got a little set of cherry tomatoes back here. These ones here. And then um, I've got some really beautiful uh, romas here and another thing of um, heirlooms. I may take some of these off just to thin it out and make fried green tomatoes. <clears throat> one of my favorite things of all time um I don't know what happened here I I'm supposing that my husband came out here and just tried to thin all this but um I'll have to ask him when he gets home tonight what happened there so I'm just gonna come in here and grab these do a little quick straighten up Here we go. And we'll come over here and just clean this up a bit. Okay guys, so garden is looking okay. Um, I was able to get a little bit out. I know my husband and the kids um, were kind of looking after the garden while I was gone. So I know a bunch of zucchinis came out. Um, we'll probably have for lunch today. And um, I wanted to just quickly grab these green beans. I can throw these in a salad tonight, but they look ready to come off of here. I wanted to get everything that we got from the garden nice and cleaned off. I'm going to be doing a Padron pepper pizza with a white garlic sauce. Um, I'm very excited about it. I had something kind of similar to restaurant once, so I'm going to try to recreate it, but we'll see how it turns out. So we're going to clean all that. I need to get the dishes done and the kids are all ready for lunch. So I thought I would take you guys along with me and show you how I do their lunches. I kind of still do a bento box style lunch, but it has been the thing that has always worked for us and it works well these are the silicone cups I use for the kids for back to school so the first batch is done it feels so good to have that done it's the little things I try to just do one little thing each day so by the time it comes for me to do all the back to school kind of organizational prep everything is clean and ready to go um, but for lunch today I'm going to be doing a little bed of Spanish rice with some zucchini and some bell peppers I picked up the bell peppers at the grocery store, um, but I am not fasting this specific day. I won't start fasting again until Monday since I didn't all week because we were traveling. So I am going to indulge myself in a delicious lunch. I like to just saute down some delicious vegetables. I'm going to put some garlic in here. It's going to be so good. So simple. I'm also making rice for the kids with some chicken nuggets. And I made it these uh, little egg rolls a while back in the freezer. So I just thought I'd add those on there as well. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna also add some fruit. And then I cleaned some of those really cute Timu um, little 
they're like little sticks you put into the kids' food. So I thought those would be kind of fun to add to their lunches today. Um, it's really fun when you sit down with the kids and they get excited about what they're looking at for lunch. It's just one of my favorites. This is a rice aroni. It's the Spanish one. It's I, Our kids love it. It's probably their favorite um, over having just like regular rice. But I'll show you guys how it all turns out. And then we'll be done with our morning. So here's how their lunch turned out. I just did some apples and some plums and just a couple other options. This is always great. If the kids don't finish it, they have uh, the whole tray they can finish later, but the kids wanna go swimming, so I gotta end this video here, but I'll see you in the next one real soon. And don't forget to check out Colon Broom. It is by far the biggest game changer I have ever experienced for bloating, and I would love to share it with you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video real soon. Bye.